Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. This is a problem solving skills video on the topic of working out a fraction, decimal fraction, or percent of a value. Now the aim of, uh, of this video is to uh, teach you a key skill uh, and, uh, and this skill will be used in subsequent videos uh, when we work out, uh, when we work with problems that require that we find a fraction of a value, a decimal fraction of a value, or a percentage of a value. And, uh, and basically the, the aim in this video is to uh, sort of uh, bring about the understanding that if you are trying to find a fraction of a value such as two-thirds of 60, or a decimal fraction of a value such as three-tenths of 80, or a percent of a value, such as 22% of 140, then you can, uh, you can do so by multiplying the fraction, decimal fraction, or percentage by the given value. So to work out 2 thirds of 60, we can multiply 2 thirds by 60. To work out 3 tenths of 80, we multiply 3 tenths by 80. And uh, to work out 22% of 140, we multiply 22% by 140. Okay, so now we're going to uh, take a look at each of these uh, three categories uh, in turn. Uh, we'll look at a fraction of a value, talk about how it is that uh, we can multiply two-thirds by 60 if we want to work out two-thirds of 60. And then we do the same for uh, a decimal fraction of a value, and uh, we finish the video by talking about how we work out a percent of a value. Okay, so a fraction of a value and uh, I will explain the issues uh, through examples. Uh, example one, uh, same problem as we just posed. Uh, we want to calculate two thirds of 60. Now to understand what this means, uh, we need to sort of have an understanding of what it is that people mean uh, when they say two thirds of 60. And basically two thirds of 60 means uh, divide 60 into three parts and then take two parts. So if we imagine that, uh, that in the diagram on the left, uh, on the right, uh, if we imagine that the circle represents uh, 60, then we need to divide that into three parts. And of course, if we do so, the size of each piece will be 20. 60 divided by 3 is 20. So each piece will have the size 20. And now we take two pieces. And that gives us a total of 40. So our second step is to take two parts. And that gives us uh, 40. Now, uh, if we multiply 2 thirds by 60, let me take this down. If we multiply 2 thirds by 60, we would arrive at, at 40. So you notice that uh, multiplication of fractions, uh, one way to, to do multiplication is to reduce. And so we can reduce 3 and 60 here. 3 goes into both of them. Uh, and, uh, and we get 3 into 3 one time and 3 into 60 20 times. And you notice that this step, this reduction, uh, take care, takes care of step number one, uh, where we divide 60 into three parts. Uh, this is what we get. We get 20 as the size of one piece. And then once we've done the reduction, we multiply the top numbers 2 times 20. And of course, division by 1 is not going to change anything, so we can drop it now. Uh, we get 2 times 20, which is 40. And that's exactly what step 2 does. Uh, it multiplies 2 by 20 to, to take uh, two pieces and ends up with 40 as well. So multiplication of 2 thirds by 60 will pretty much do the same two steps that we would expect uh, one would take when one tries to find 2 thirds of 60. Divide 60 into three parts, that's the reduction, and then take two parts, 2 times 20. Okay, so we end up with 40. So that shows that if you are trying to find 2 thirds of 60, we can multiply 2 thirds by 60. Again, the reduction of 3 and 60 would be the same as uh, dividing 60 into 3 parts. And then 2 times 20 would give us the total uh, amount that we get uh, because we take two pieces, each has size 20. And so the solution to calculate 2 thirds of 60 is 2 thirds times 60. And that gives us 40. Problem number two, uh, just one more example as, as practice. Uh, we want to find three-fifths of 14.5. And now we understand that we need to multiply three-fifths by 
and on the calculator of course if you're trying to work this out you can always uh, begin by 3 and then divide that by 5 so 3 divide by 5 and then multiply by 14.5 so you get 14 and then equals and 8.7 all right so that would be three-fifths of 14.5 okay so that completes the talk on a fraction of a value now we talk about uh, how we go about working out a decimal fraction of a value and as an example uh, as our first example we have the same problem that we posed at the beginning of this video calculate three tenths of 80 and uh, what we want to show is that we can work this out by multiplying 3 tenths and 80. Now in this case, uh, the total is represented by the circle again, and but the total this time is 80. And uh, to find 3 tenths of 80 based on what it sounds like uh, when people talk about finding 3 tenths of 80, what they mean is that 80 should be divided into 10 parts, and then we take 3 parts. And so we need to divide 80 into 10 parts that would be the same as this kind of a division. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 parts now. And of course, that means 80 divided by 10, which generates 8. That's the size of one piece. So each of these pieces now has size 8. And then we need to take three parts. So that would be the next step. And uh, to take three parts, uh, that would be the same as the shaded area now. Uh, we multiply 8 by 3 and we get 24. Now the idea is that uh, we can also get 24 if we just uh, multiply 0 0.3 or 3 tenths by 80. And, uh, and if we go ahead and, uh, and do the multiplication, we'll end up with 24. You can, uh, you can give this a try. And in fact, you will notice that uh, the steps that are here are pretty much carried by the multiplication. When we multiply uh, by a decimal number, uh, if you recall from uh, multiplication and division of decimals, the video on multiplication and division of decimals, we said that we drop the decimal point, uh, so we will multiply 3 by 80. Now in this case, uh, it seems like we are taking step 2 first, which is fine, because keep in mind that uh, multiplication and division can be done in any order. Uh, and uh, so long as you divide by 10 and multiply by, by 3, uh, you can multiply by 3 first and then divide by 10 or you can divide by 10 first and then multiply by 3 and the answer will be the same and when we multiply with a decimal we find it easier to uh, drop the decimal point and multiply so we take step 2 first that gives us 240 and when you place the decimal point uh, to make sure that you have one decimal digit that's the same as dividing by 10 and we end up with 24. okay so now we understand that uh, uh, just like a fraction of a value, such as two-thirds of 60, if you are working out a decimal fraction of a value, such as three-tenths of 80, we can multiply uh, the, the decimal fraction by the given value, and that will give us the answer that we seek. So uh, to work out three-tenths of 80, we put down 0 0.3 times 80, which comes to 24. One more problem, uh, just uh, for more practice. Let's say that we want to work out 42 hundredths of 15.8. And now we understand that we can multiply the two. So 0 0.42 times 15.8, or if you read it formally, 42 hundredths of 15.8. And we end up with uh, 6.636. Now, I let you check that answer, but uh, what I would like to point out is that uh, this uh, multiplication then, uh, when you see the word of is pretty much the key word uh, if it comes after a fraction or a decimal fraction and as we will see very shortly uh, if it comes after a percent you can turn the word of into multiplication okay the next uh, kind of problem that we want to talk about is when we want to find a percent of a value and as an example of that we have 22 percent of 140 now again, we need to have an understanding of what people mean when they say 22% of 140. And what that means is that uh, 140, the given value, should be divided into 100 parts, and then we take 22 parts. 
Uh, now, this sounds pretty much uh, very similar to, uh, to the case that we had for a fraction of a value and the case that we had for a decimal fraction of a value. And so in this case, uh, we can also solve the problem by multiplying 22% by 140. Now, 22% times 140, uh, the percentage, uh, percent means out of 100. It implies division by 100. And here we have a choice when we want to work out 22% of 140. We have a choice between changing the percentage to a decimal or to a fraction. And of course, which one you pick depends on whether you're talking theory, which requires the use of formal notation, and therefore we would use uh, the fraction notation for the division. Uh, or uh, if you're uh, talking about applications of theory, then you use decimals. And in this case, uh, in the case of decimals, we can carry, carry out the division by 100 by moving the decimal point back over two digits. And so we get 0 0.22. So it's the placement of the decimal point that pretty much takes care of the percent. In the case of formal notation, if we want to get a rational number or a fraction, in this case, uh, we change percentage to division by 100. Note that percent doesn't just mean 100. It means division by 100. And that's why I have also uh, color-coded the fraction line here. That's part of the percent. All right, uh, so if you have uh, 22 hundredths of 140 or 22 hundredths of 140, uh, we know how to work them out. Uh, and in either case, we get uh, 30.8. Now, the reason uh, I'm using decimals is because I'm assuming that this problem is an application. If this problem was uh, theoretical, then I would use uh, 22 hundredths of 140, and I would write the answer as a fraction. In this case, a mixed number. It would come to uh, 30 and 4 fifths. Okay, last problem, I believe, for this video. Calculate 15% of 47.2. So now we know that we need to multiply 15% by 47.2. We understand that we have two options at this point. Uh, either switch to the decimal notation to write down 0 0.15 times 47.2 or use uh, the fraction notation and we get 15 over 100 times 47.2. Now, in this case, uh, we would go with, uh, we would definitely go with a, with a decimal because, uh, because we, we start with a decimal number, which means that we are talking about applications of theory. And therefore, for those kinds of problems, uh, decimals, the use of decimals is more appropriate. In the case of 140, uh, because it doesn't have a decimal point, uh, at least it's not written down, uh, we, we are not quite sure whether 140 should be seen as a natural number, which is formal notation, or a decimal number, which doesn't have a fractional side, and therefore it would be a base 10 notation. But in the case of 47.2, of course, there is a decimal point to begin with. And so the notation is base 10 notation, and uh, we continue using base 10 notations. And so we go with uh, 0 0.15 times 47.2, and we end up with 7.08 and so now we have the understanding that if you are trying to find a fraction of a value such as two-thirds of 60 we can multiply two-thirds by 60. if you are trying to find a decimal fraction of a value such as 0 0.3 or 3 tenths of 80 then we can multiply the decimal fraction by the value so we write down 3 tenths times 80 and same for percentage 22 percent of 140 turns into 22% times 100, 140. Okay, so this scale, uh, what you see here pretty much in the diagram on the right side, uh, this is the key skill that I was talking about. This skill will be used over and over and over in the next uh, few videos where we uh, take up uh, the, the manner in which one solves problems that require that we find a fraction of a value, a decimal fraction of a value, or a percentage of a value. Thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.